for me yes i was waiting for you (laughs) 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 and what we're doing next and you always get the hairy lips grandma or great grandma (laughs) do you know what i mean where that sticks in your you know go to kiss her and it sticks in your face (laughs) fine grandma Megacast TV, your channel of choice. Hello and welcome to another edition of Megacast TV. My name's Jake and I'm joined as always by my friend from across the pond, the lovely Beth. Good evening, Beth. How are you? Hey, Jake. I'm really good. How are you doing tonight? I'm pretty good, thank you. We got there in the end, didn't we? We did. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a couple of strange days trying to get together but we've sorted it it's all good it's all good so um so i thought this week beth we could sort of get to know each other a bit more i love that idea and we have 20 questions for each other uh we're going to do two separate shows out of this so one show with me and one show with beth i'm gonna ask beth first and then the next week you'll see beth asking me my questions so i have 20 questions beth how many do you have um, I came up with 18, so I'm a little shy. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay, so I'll crack off with your questions. Okay. So question number one, Beth, what is your burning ambition? Oh, my burning ambition is... Can I just say that neither of us have seen each other's questions? Right, right. We have no idea. Totally off the cuff. So I'm actually a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my ambition is to check things off my bucket list, which I feel like for the most part, I, I pretty much have. But I have uh, a big trip that is on my bucket list that I feel like I have to do before I die, which is I have to get over to England. Okay. And then from England, go to Ireland. That's where um, my maternal family roots are from. Okay, so that's your burning ambition is to come to the UK right now. It is. Okay, so question number two, what is the worst job you've ever had? Oh, so I really did not want to work fast food when I was growing up. So we had a, a buffet place here, and I think that it wasn't that bad, but um, probably because I have like texture issues with food. So I had to um, pick up the plates of the people once they were done with their food. They kind of push it off to the end of the table, and I would come over and pick up the plates and just kind of scrape the plates off. And that was probably the worst job I've ever had. <laughs> oh, wow. You see, I think I think fast food's probably everybody's worst job. I, I've had one of those fast food jobs too. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so you are married to a rather delightful Italian man called Marty. Mm-hmm, my Italian stallion. Yeah, so how did you two get together? So, interesting story. Okay. We met at a pub. I walked in the door. I've never been to this bar before. So um, I walked in. I was meeting my sister there. And there was a guy sitting um, right as you walk in the door. And he said, can I see your ID? Kind of like um, what you would call a bouncer. Okay. Check your ID. Make sure you're over 21. And so I handed him my ID. And he looked at it. And he busted out laughing. And I'm like, how dear you my picture's not that bad on my id you know and it was marty and he started laughing and he said i'm just kidding i just happen to be sitting at this chair right here i don't even work here i just want to see if somebody would fall for it oh wow (laughs) that's amazing and i knew right then that i love his sense of humor so i told him he owed me a beer and he bought me a beer and the rest is it's free oh wow that's pretty cool that's pretty just imagine if you hadn't walked into that pub that night 
my life would be completely different. Yeah, how bizarre, how bizarre. Okay, so growing up, what's your favorite childhood memory? Oh, wow. Um, we grew up pretty poor. There was uh, five kids and my mom was kind of raising us on her own after the divorce. And um, there was a place over in Canada that w my mom once a year would um, take us to as like a, a vacation. Okay. And it was called Bablo Island. And we would take a big ferry, like a double-decker ferry over to Bablo Island into Canada. And it was a huge amusement park with roller coasters and Ferris wheels. It was amazing. You could bring your own um, picnic and, and my mom would pack our food and we would eat there and have lunch and we would just go ride rides all day long. It was amazing. Okay, wow. So you enjoyed that. How long did you go for when you kind of stayed, stayed there? It was just a day trip. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you might have called me, you might have really already answered this, but um, if you could go absolutely anywhere in the world on what we call a holiday, what would be your favorite holiday destination? Yes, it, it's, I'm hoping it's going to be England. I um, cannot wait to go there. It's something, I believe it's like in my DNA as I've been doing some ancestry research going all the way back to, gosh, like the 1600s, 1500s, my family roots come back from England. And I, I just, ever since I've been a teenager, I've had a fascination with England and just this like admiration for it. So I, I cannot wait to go. But you've only got two English pen pals. Uh, I have four actually. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, so what would you say was your biggest achievement in life? Ooh. I think my military service okay. is a, but I think I, I have two. So my military service, but also being the first person in my family to ever get a master's degree. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Oh gosh. 10 years <laughs> I will be old in my 50s. And I hope to be working and um oh sorry, my phone. Okay. Uh have um my kiddos should yeah, be getting ready to graduate high school and, and hopefully trans transitioning them into young adulthood. So kind of gearing up for that. Okay. And yeah, just um, living a happy life, I think. Okay. So I do know personally a bit about your, um, your current job role. Um, and you, what, what is your current job title? So I'm a mental health therapist. Right. Uh, so as well as that qualification, what other qualifications do you have? Um, so I have to be licensed within the state of Ohio. So I'm a licensed social worker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. And you just briefly mentioned your children and getting them into adulthood. What makes you proud of your children? Oh, my gosh. Everything. They... They are, I, I feel like the better version of me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they they are amazing kids. They are polite. They are honest. My son even told on himself in school, got himself in trouble. <laughs> oh no. He's very, very honest. They're both rule followers. So it, that's a big deal, is making sure everybody follows the rules. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if you were having a dinner party and you could invite anyone, absolutely anyone, alive or dead, who would your top five guests be? I realise this might take some time. Wow, these are amazing questions. <laughs> uh, top five, I would say, first person on my list would be Abraham Lincoln. So okay. I 
that's part of like America's history, right? So he's one of our past presidents who was um, pivotal in um, um, freeing the slaves. Okay. It doesn't have to be anyone famous. It can be anybody. anybody. Okay. Okay. So that would be my first one. Okay. Um, I think my second one would be my great grandmother. Okay. I never had a chance to meet her, but as I'm kind of uh, said, um, discovering my roots through ancestry, I find that she has a very fascinating story. Okay. She was an immigrant from Hungary and she spoke no English and came over here with her parents to America when she was 16 and started working. And um, her, her, she has two other siblings and they never kept in contact. So I'm finding out like I have all these cousins here in Toledo that I've never met before because somehow my great grandma never spoke to her brother or sister. Oh, kind of odd, and they're all here in Toledo. So you could be walking past someone in the street that's related to you. You know what? I just found out uh, Friday doing ancestry. I found I found and connected with a cousin who told me that he has hung out with my husband's uncle for years and years and years. Like, oh my gosh, what a small world! It really is when you look into things like that. The world really does get really, really small, doesn't it? Right, right. My mind was like blown. Blown away, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So apart from England, if you could visit anywhere in the world that you've not been before, where would you go? Okay. Um... I think I would like to go to Jamaica. Okay. I feel like all the pictures and everything I've ever seen is so beautiful and like breathtaking, but I know the pictures don't do it justice, I'm sure. But I know they have a lot of history and um, I would love to know more about their culture too. Okay. Okay. Anything particular you'd like to do while you're over there or, you know, just... Have Eat it up, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So my next question is question number twelve. Can you play any musical instrument? Um, I can play the piano a little bit. I started taking lessons. I would say like five years ago. Okay. And um, I had taken lessons when I was five and then my parents got a divorce and didn't have the money for that. So I had like the fundamentals down. But um, when I started five years ago, the music uh, piano teacher was teaching me to read music notes, okay. like sheet music. And so just being older, it takes me a minute to process. Is that what line is that? You know, so um, I didn't get very far with it. So a very little bit of piano. And then recently, I would say about three years ago, I wanted to learn how to play um, the, the trumpet. trumpet. Okay. So I've been Googling. Um, I want to learn how to play taps and then to be able to play that for other veterans at ceremonies and stuff. So it's a very difficult because there are no like notes like... Um, a traditional trumpet yeah this is it's all done with your lips and how you blow the air out into it so it's really hard oh wow oh well it sounds difficult okay yeah that's another sort of something you'd like to achieve maybe definitely yeah yeah okay, okay. working towards that and then once i realized how hard it was i thought oops this is going to take me a lot longer than i thought <laughs> So who is your favorite band or artist or group? Okay, so I have a top three. Okay. So my first one is the Beatles. I'm a huge Beatles fan. Um, I, I love the Beatles as a group, and then I love all of them independently as their own artist as well. So uh, that's my top. But then after that, it's the Red Hot Chili Peppers, which is mm -hmm. an American band. And then after that, it's Aerosmith, which is, again, another American band. 
I love Aerosmith. They are fabulous. Yeah. They are. They are good. Oh, okay. Actually, um, a little side story. Um, my husband bought me for surprise, bought me Aerosmith tickets for a concert. Oh wow. But he surprised me even further and got me um backstage like passes <sighs> for a meet and greet. And okay. I got to meet um Joey Kamer, the drummer of Aerosmith. Oh, wow. I bet that was amazing, wasn't it? it? It was just unbelievable. It was the coolest thing, um, a meet and greet, and he had a book out. So um, he talked a lot about his book, which was so interesting because he suffered from anxiety for years and years and years. And that is pretty much what his book is about, growing up with anxiety. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, say, so, okay, so what's your favorite color? Emerald green. My wedding ring is even emerald green. Oh, not just green, emerald green. Emerald, that dark green, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like emerald green too. It's a nice colour. Mm -hmm. So what's your favourite film? Oh, gosh, it's so hard. I know you love movies and you've seen so many more than I have. Um, I really like A League of Their Own. That's one of my favorites. It's the baseball movie about the first woman's baseball team with Tom Hanks in it. Okay. Okay. But I also like uh, Forrest Gump. I'm a huge Tom Hanks fan. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I do like Forrest Gump. I've not seen League of Their Own, though. So. Oh, one to watch. It certainly is. It certainly is. So if you were going out for a meal and you had any restaurant uh, you could visit that you wanted to go to, what type of food would you eat and which restaurant would you go to? I know without a doubt where I would go. It's an amazing restaurant here in Toledo. It's called J Alexander's and it's a upscale uh, restaurant where they serve, I guess it would be like an American eatery. So everything is made with like gourmet chefs that um, the way that the building is designed, it's very open so you can see them cooking right okay. in front of you and everything is fresh it's made right there there's nothing that's like pre-packaged and they throw it in the fryer everything is is just amazing and fresh okay i shall have to check it out and see if they've the, got a have they got a facebook group or page or um they probably have a page i'm sure um definitely have a website they have a dish there i only get i get the same things i go there i can't even deviate because it's so good it's called rattlesnake pasta Oh, what's that involve? Um, it's a pasta dish that has like a very spicy, um, like a southwestern sauce on it with um, all sorts of peppers and onions on it. There's no rattlesnake in it. It's just the name, I think, because it's kind of spicy. <laughs> okay, so you like food with a bit of a kick? Actually, I don't. That's what's so surprising because I, I, I'm a wimp when it comes to hot stuff. Ah, we will have to get you doing the chili challenge. <laughs> I'll lick it and then go, no, I can't do it. I'm a wimp. Something I was going to do with Trace and she wouldn't do it either. She's, I'll she's... try it. I will try it. I will try that it. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. So we all had a, a job that we really, really wanted to do when we were growing up. What did you really want to do when you were growing up? Uh, for some reason, I had always like answered that question when we were asked in school. I always answered that with, I wanted to be a nurse in the army. I don't know where that came from. I don't know what my attraction was, but when I got to be in high school and I really started to like research what that that was or what it looked like, I thought there's no way I can't deal with other people's yucky body parts and like yeah, I can't can't do it. Okay. Okay, speaking of school, what what subjects were you best at at school? Um English, English. writing. Yeah. Um I love I'm I don't know if I'd love to write, but I'm very good at it. Okay, so looking back over your education, did you have like a teacher that stood out that really inspired you or, or was your favourite? Um, I had a teacher, I think I was in high school. Um, no, you know what? My, my absolute favourite teacher who I feel like really made such a big impact on me was my second grade teacher. So I was in elementary school and she was this amazing, warm, 
she was just a, an amazing teacher, an amazing lady. But that year was really hard for me. It was the year my parents got divorced and I was struggling so bad. And I would go in and just, she could tell I was just on the verge of tears. And she, she called me over to her desk and she just, she would turn around so the kids wouldn't know, but she was hugging me oh. while I just kind of sobbed into her. She was amazing. She was just an amazing teacher. Okay. Wow. And last question, you'd be pleased to know. <laughs> if you could go and see any show or concert with anybody alive or dead, what would you really, really want to see? Oh, so my husband got me tickets to go see Paul McCartney in Wisconsin. Oh. And that was one of my my bucket list items. And to be honest, I, I, I just, he came out on stage and I just cried and cried and cried. It was amazing. So I think if I could go back and see all of the Beatles perform, it, it would probably would be to attend one of those shows. So the Beatles as a group or individually or both? As a group. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Kind of when, I think like the mop top era, you know, when yeah. they had their suits on and they were clean cut. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, it's been very nice getting to know a bit more about you tonight, Beth. Uh, I hope the viewers have enjoyed getting to know a bit more about you as well. Maybe my questions are a bit more personal than yours to me will be. I don't know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm guessing we will. Uh, right. I'm going to say my goodbyes, then I'll leave Beth to say hers. So I'm going now. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> did um trying to figure out how to or where to save it what, what, what we're doing now we're doing uh are you waiting for me yes i was waiting for you oh. <laughs> 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 uh, and what we're doing next and right. you always get the hairy lips grandma or great grandma <laughs> do you know what i mean with the sticks in your, you know, go to kiss her and it sticks in your face. <laughs> with the most... fine grandma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>